meant to be, dude, because like I am like the firebird. <laughs> <laughs> guys, so um, woke up today, wasn't planning on selling any of my cars. We've had the great Peter McKinnon in to, uh, and he was bombing around in the Pagani last night. Uh, oh. <laughs> Ron literally taught me photography. <laughs> Love that. Just a, a stellar human. Um, I got on the phone with him and Tace and they were in my barn and I was off doing something else and I said, hey, Pete, what's your favorite car in that garage? Now remember I have uh, the Pagani Huayra Roadster, the Bugatti you know, Vitesse, a 918 Spider, a thousand horsepower Turbo S, heavy hitter kind of cars and he's without hesitation. He says, oh, the Trans Am. The Firebird, by far my favorite car. Anyone that thinks this car is their favorite car is a connoisseur of the finest things in life. I would overlook any of those other things and buy this car over all of them. I'm not even kidding. T-top, freaking flaming eagle on the hood. Like, you don't get cars that are made like that now. 6.6 .6 liter V8 that does zero to 60 in like 12 seconds. Like, dude, you have to try to go that slow with the 6.6 .6 liter V8, right? The seats themselves are like full-blown lazy boy recliners in cloth. They just like, you, you want to like fire up a TV dinner, you know, and plop in and just drive one-handed down the road because you can't drive very fast in this car, all right? But it looks awesome. A little Smokey and the Bandit. By the way, Smokey and the Bandit, that movie was a serious misrepresentation of how fast these cars are. <laughs> With that being said, guys, this morning I get a text from Sean Halliday at the space station, and Sean says, is there any chance you would consider selling your minty 1979 Firebird Trans Am? I would have said no to basically anyone else, but Pete, right off the bat, saying that this was his favorite car in my garage, we formed an instant best friendship, okay? He is my best friend of all time. I actually haven't even met him in person yet, however, I have agreed to sell this bad boy to Pete McKinnon. And many other people probably won't get it, but until you own this car, you, you just can't possibly understand. So I just love it so much, but I know Pete's gonna take really, really good care of it. We actually have some really special accessories. For you young kids out there, um, this is kind of the order of things, okay? Eight track. Oh no, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, let's back up before that. Vinyl, so like records, right? Like a record player, they're big black discs, you put the little spindle thing down on top of it and it plays music. Then technology advanced to the point where you could use an eight track, which you'd plug in, I actually don't know, I've never even used or seen an eight track, I just know that they existed, but for this era of car, we had cassettes, okay? Uh, do you know what a cassette is, is the real question. We went from cassettes to, man, where did we go? Cassettes to DVDs to Blu-ray. Now everything's streaming, right? Like you don't have to plug anything into your car. It just comes over the airwaves. Well, for Pete, this was a special gift to me that was found by my father-in-law. But I literally have no use for these because this is the only car I've ever owned that has a cassette player in it. So check these bad boys out. Let's see, Linda Ronstadt, oh my goodness. Oh, there's multiple Linda Ronstads, okay? Elton John, Stevie Ray Vaughan, La Bamba, the original motion picture. Kenny G, get out of town, dudes. Look, look at this hair. In fact, I think Peter has long hair, doesn't he? <laughs> <laughs> so, Peter is like the Kenny G of our time, you know what I mean? Like, talented beyond all belief. When Kenny G touches the saxophone, my heart just melts, you know what I mean? Like I go to a different place. It's absolutely unbelievable. Kenny G, and then of course, you've gotta have the British 60s, okay? And so we have, let me see. Okay, I don't know any of these names. <laughs> <laughs> this is my, oh, Miami Sound Machine. This is my parting gift to Pete as he takes hold of this national treasure of a car. He's here. Yeah. Hey. He's here. How are you? 
What's up, man? Hey, good to meet you. Good, good to, to meet, meet you. you. Yeah, I've heard yeah. a lot about you. Oh, you as well, dude. Yeah. You as well. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. This is a beautiful. Oh, there you go. Beautiful. So, did you, did you hear me telling John? I'm like, very few people come into my garage, and I'm oh, like, what's man. your favorite car? Yeah. And yeah. they're like, oh, the, the Firebird. Yeah. And I'm like, okay, we're, we're best friends. <laughs> yeah, I like, like we guy. are yeah. right now. Yeah. He's a real one. You are a connoisseur, like, you know, <laughs> like a scholar and a gentleman. Yeah, I went right to it like a zombie. Yeah. It just pulled me right yes. in. Everyone's like, yes. look at this Bugatti. I'm like, it's beautiful. Yeah, it's great. This, it's dude, great. Look dude, at the paint on this. Bro, look how comfy those move. seats look. Dude, they're like lazy boys, man. Yeah, I honestly, I didn't wake up today thinking I was going to sell this, but when we had that conversation very briefly yesterday, and yeah. you're like, oh, that car's rad. Yeah. I'm like, okay, this is someone who understands like mm -hmm. culture and history and yep. that's gonna take care of this thing. So, 100%, dude. Yeah. Um, I do have a, a little present for you in here though. Okay. You have your own assortment of vintage cassettes that he found. <laughs> like, <laughs> and I'm like, these are so sick, dude. And, and the cassette awesome. player works great and whatever. Like, Kenny G, the oh British gosh, 60s, dude. La Bamba, Elton John. You, Elton John. Michael Jackson's greatest hits. Oh yeah, I didn't even see that yes. one. That one actually is dope. Dude, that's I, incredible. This car is phenomenal and it's minty for a for a 1979, you know. I think you're gonna love it. I cruise around in it. My boys have really liked it. Yeah. My wife hates it. She's <laughs> like, it smells like gas and exhaust. That's why I want I'm it. Like, exactly, <laughs> yeah, exactly, dude. dude. But anyway, I'm excited for you to be the next yeah. steward of this thing, you know. Dude. Yeah. When I saw it come up on Bring a Trailer, uh, legitimately, I was like, "Oh, that—that's the car for me." Like, yeah. You know, T top, the solar gold. This is called solar, solar gold. gold. Yeah. You know, it's got the WS6 package on it, 6.6 .6 liter V8. Um, this is honestly, Pete. This is the slowest car that I own. So. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But it's like yeah. one of my favorites. Yeah. yeah. Pete, how'd you get your start in all this, dude? Oh man, like you've like made literally it. by accident. Literally by accident. I. Um, used to upload all my stuff to Vimeo. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And I used to call it the artist's YouTube. I was like, no, okay. I, I kind of with my nose in the air, like I yeah. upload there and my friends were like, you should just put stuff on YouTube, man. Like if you want people to see it, that's where, that's where it's going to happen. And they had to kind of convince me to make something for myself. And one friend said something very sp specific and he just said, when was the last time you made a video for you and not for someone else or for money or for your job? When was the last time you just did it because it's your passion? Yeah. And I couldn't answer him. So I made a video called Eight Camera Hacks in 90 Seconds. Okay. And that went viral. Yeah. And then I made another one and that went viral. And then I made another one and another one. And then I was like, I guess I'll just keep making Jeez. these. And then yeah. within like months, I was at 300,000 subscribers. Holy cow. And then I'd say six months into that, I quit my job of seven years. Yeah. And then I was like, all right, I'm two feet, I'm in both feet in. I asked my wife, I was like, okay, let's play a little worst case scenario. If this all crumbles, doesn't yeah. work out, what's the worst case? She's like, we lose everything we own, we have no money, and we take our new baby and go into my parents' basement. And I was like, I'm good with that. Yeah, She's like, no, I'm good fine. with that too. And that's I was like, fine. let's go, I'm a YouTuber. Well, dude, do you wanna go, uh, can I treat you, like, you know, go for a ride in this thing? Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. Is yeah. that cool? Yeah, let's do it. Okay. Have some seat belts. <laughs> You smell that? Like man in America has had a baby. <laughs> Actually, you're from Canada. It smells Canada. like man and North America have had a baby. <laughs> it's long. It's day. a boat. Oh yeah, this this hood. Like again, they don't really make these <laughs> like they used to because you can't ever see the end of the hood. Yeah. You're like, oh oh, I've I've, I've, I've always kind of just gone with like where it falls off is probably where the front That's is. That's probably where the yeah, front yeah, is. Yeah yeah yeah. yeah. The very first time my daughter ever drove a car was in this car. Oh, I've got it all documented awesome. and stuff. Yeah, she didn't like it either. Yeah. <laughs> These are like pieces of history, you know. Yeah, they like, are little time capsules. Yeah, hundred yeah, percent. Little preserved time capsules that you get to experience. And, yeah, yeah. And it's all experiential. This yeah. is about as fast as it goes. Yeah. That's all the way down. I think it's zero to 16 about eight, nine, 10 seconds. Oh, right in that range. Smooth, dude, it's smooth. <laughs> yeah. I gotta have you drive this. Thing. I would love yeah, to drive. I gotta have you yeah. drive this. We're gonna pull over right up here. Dude, you oh, look good. You look good. Feels good. Yeah, I do look, look I good. I feel good, good in this car, yeah. dude. <laughs> oh man, it is really nice. It's cherry, it drives great. Uh, it just feels really good. It's solid for sure. It's special, you know what I mean? I might even, all my trucks stay in my garage, but I think I might move them out to my barn. Yeah, it stays yeah. in my garage. Yeah. But my little boy is, is all about obsessed it. with cars. And like, oh, like most it. little boys are, but he's got like a, there's a particular something there. 
when I was coming out here, he knew that I was gonna see some people with cars and he was like, buy me a car, bring me home a car. <laughs> and he obviously means like a little Hot Wheels or yeah, something. Yeah, so yeah. I definitely so gotta bring him home. They have a gold Trans Am in Hot Wheels form. Do I've they? seen them before. So it might be interesting to try to track one of those. Yeah, that would know. be great. Yeah. Or yeah. I could just bring him the actual Trans Am. Uh, that's even better. Yes. That would work Hey, too. I brought you a car yeah. home. <laughs> I, brought, I brought you a car. Yeah. He's doing this. My this considerations. I think I've. I think I've arrived. Okay. Okay. This car is yours. Oh! oh no. yes. Are we doing it? Yes. Ron did doing? it. Ready? Ron Ready? did it. Shake it. Let's shake, shake it. it. Let's shake done. It. Wow. <laughs> right. Wow. Done. All right. It is done. Enjoy, my friend. Thanks, dude. Seriously. Yeah. That was awesome. <laughs> What was that? There we go. I did not think this would happen. <laughs> I was just coming to Utah to hang and now I'm leaving in a Trans Am, dude. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>